Hi friends, I hope y'all have had a blessed day today. I want to cover as quickly as possible where I believe that we are on the prophetic timeline and what we will be seeing if we are left here. If you will go to Daniel chapter 7, I'm just going to hit just high points. I encourage you to come back and read the whole thing. But basically in Daniel chapter 7, Daniel sees a beast or sees four beasts. The fourth one was the worst one of the four. And this fourth beast had ten horns which are 10 kings. And once these 10 kings are in place, another king rises up among them, which is different from the first 10. Different. In what way? I'm not sure, but he's different. I've got a few ideas, but I won't discuss that right now. But three of the first 10 was subdued by this first king, and he took over the entire group. And just let me read this right here. It says in verse 23, the fourth beast shall be a fourth kingdom on earth, which will be different from all other kingdoms. <clears throat> it will devour the whole earth, trample it, and break it in pieces. I believe that beast is the United Nations in our time and age. And it says the ten horns are ten kings who will arise from this kingdom, and another one will arise after them, just like I said. And um, what got me really, I mean, you know, right now we're so close to the end, being in the year 2023, that we're still, I mean, we see, we're seeing things that if you only look and pay attention and you know what to listen for, I mean, they're telling us. Uh, this one guy over there from Europe with the uh, United Nations, with that World Economic Forum, uh, he plainly said that to get past this reset, we need the 10 smartest and possibly the most wealthiest men to lead us after this new reset. They want 10, not 150 like they have right now. So they're, they're, they're setting up a one world government that they're going to give the control to 10 men. And they're all going to vote on this. And after they have their 10, another one is going to rise up and subdue three of the 10. And then the other seven is going to give their allegiance. Well, of course, if you read in the book of Revelation, it plainly says that this one, this great beast of a man, that he gives all of them power as kings being one hour with the beast. And this one man, the little horn, is the one who goes into the temple of God and, decla and, and declares that he is God. And he is going to be the one that uh, creates the abomination of desolation when he goes in there claiming he's God. And it is that one that the Lord Jesus Christ, when he comes back with all, all of his saints and mighty angels, uh, he's going to destroy that man sitting on the, on the throne or in the temple of God. But look at how... This uh, plays out in the way that God revealed it to Daniel. If you will go to verse 9, it, Daniel said, I was watching till thrones was put in place, and the Ancient of Days, which of course that's the Holy Father, was seated. His garment was white as snow. His hair on his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame, its wheels a burning flame, a fiery stream issued and came.